What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today I have a little bit different of a video, and it's essentially something I don't normally condone, but it's cloud mining with NiceHash. I'm going to talk about how to do it and why there are some cases in which you may want to consider doing it right after this. All right, so welcome back. The particular cases I'm referring to are gonna be a little bit outside of the norm, at least this first one. The reason I'm going to be renting hash power today and showing you how to do it is because we recently launched a pool for Sumo Coin. And with the launch of the pool, we want to get people to start mining to it. And the way we can do that is by already having some hash power on the network that provides the payouts a little bit quicker than it would without renting hash power. This helps the pool out. This helps the starting miners, the the beginner miners, what, what would you call them? The first set of miners that will be joining the pool to be getting payouts without having to worry about long time to finds for the blocks. So that's why I'm personally doing it. Some ideas though that you may want to consider is that actually NiceHash does have a decent return if you are mining the proper coins. So if you remember in my what to mine video or best cryptocurrency to mine video, which you can check out up here if you haven't yet, in that video I kind of stated that you don't want to be mining the most profitable if you're just hobbyist mining. You want to be trying to mine a coin that has larger payouts, etc. But if you're going to be mining the most profitable coin and you are just wanting to boost your level up and get payouts quick for those profitable coins, NiceHash can be a pretty decent option. Of course, you are going to be taking a quite a bit of a hit, probably about a, I would say about a 60% in profit hit, but that's not really that bad if you consider all you have to do is log on to this website and plug in a pool that you re require and send some Bitcoin, and that's all it takes. And I'm gonna show you how to do it here right now. Alrighty, so starting things off, we're going to head on over to nicehash.com and we're gonna click register. I'm gonna register an email I haven't registered yet to show you guys how it works. Let me see if I can type a password in without messing it up. Alrighty, so now that we've done that, we have to go and grab our verification code, which I will do, and you guys will not see it, so I, I think, at least, we'll see what happens here. Alrighty, so once you register, they will send you an email with a verification code. You will copy that verification code and plug it in the box that's requesting it. Pretty simple. If you guys are not new to the internet, this shouldn't be anything new to you. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to log in with our account and you will see a couple things on the home page. You'll see you have no active workers, you have no open orders in your wallet. This is the wallet address that you will send Bitcoin to to rent hashing power. Alrighty, so before starting everything else, you're going to want to click settings and then the buying tab. Once you've clicked the buying tab, you're going to want to click enable on the buy hash power. It will send you another verification code to the email tied to the account. You will once again go grab the verification code, copy it, and then paste it in and click activate and then you will be able to buy hash power. At this point I'm gonna log out and log into my real account here to show you guys how to place an order. Alrighty, so I've deposited some Bitcoin into NiceHash and I want to rent some hash power. So to rent some hash power, I am actually just going to head on over to my pools first and I want to add a new pool. So we will call this Sumo Pool Soat. And that's for the Soat Sumo Pool. The algorithm is going to be whatever algorithm the pool is, which in this case it's Crypto Knight. And then we need to enter the pool address. So you'll just go over and grab the pool address and paste it in without the port, because you're gonna place the port in over here. 
Now, here's where things get a little tricky is you want to make sure that you are using the port that is going to support the difficulty that's displayed here. So this is the minimum pool difficulty. So you want to go over and let's say it was uh, this pool, then we will want to make sure that our starting difficulty is higher than 20,000, which is port 5555. Personally, I want a more difficult port, which we created on the back end 6666. So I'm going to be putting that in. But in this example, that's how you would find the difficulty is you would just go over and try to find, you know, look for mining ports and what their starting difficulties are. And then for the username, you will just be grabbing your address. So it's pretty simple there. Wherever you have your wallet address, you'll just want to copy it and paste it here. And then the password will be whatever the pool password is. In most cases for this crypto night, it's just going to be X. So once you've done that, you will click add pool. So now that we have a pool, we can go in and start renting. To place an order, we're gonna click down on four buyers and click the marketplace. We are gonna select the script that we want to use, which in this case is Crypto Knight. And then we will be able to see that on the USA server, these are the current prices, which is the 0.2856. Now there's a couple strategies here. Typically you wanna stay within the gray areas or the highlighted areas. So you wouldn't really want to go lower than the 0.2716 if you want to start hashing right away. In my case, because I really, really want to start hashing right away, I'm going to go for the top price here uh, and I'm going to outbid it just by one there. And then I have, let's see, let's go back to my my balance is right here so i'm just going to go ahead and throw this whole balance into here or you can and you can place however much you want there and at 0 0.01 mega hash a second i'll get 10 days the approximate duration is down here i want to do two that'll give me eight days I was looking for more around seven days. So let's see what three is at. That's five days. I'll get us through the weekend. I'd rather have two. That'll be eight days. That'll be pretty good. You got to click the I agree with the terms and conditions. And then we need to select our pool. I almost forgot that. We put the pool in earlier. You could just come straight here and say add new pool. But yes, that's what we're going to do. Sumo pool soat. And now we can place the order. All right, so now that we've placed the order, you see that it's starting to go up in the order of to be filled and we can edit the order, in which case we can change the price that we wanna pay and we can change the limit. Over here, we can also cancel the order or we can refill the order. And those are all of the options. Once it's started, you'll be able to go over to the pool paste your address into whatever lookup system they're running, click lookup, and once the order is actually starts running, you will see your hash rate increase. Of course, this is just my single mining rig running on here right now. Alrighty, and as you guys can see here, our hash rate is starting to increase. We now have gone from five kilohash to 15.86 kilohash. This should start leveling out around 25 kilohash etc. Alrighty, so there are some reasons and how to go ahead and rent hash power at nicehash.com. If you are a miner, I still don't suggest using nicehash unless you're a beginner miner and you're just getting your feet wet. As, as you can see, it's still profitable to use nicehash to rent hash power. And to give you an idea, that also means that you're looking at taking about a 30% cut when you're actually mining for that for them. Of course, it does eliminate a lot of the risk. It is always mining for other people. It's always mining the best algo that's paying the most out and it will always pay you out in Bitcoin. If that's just the more stable platform you prefer for mining, I completely get that. I just uh, prefer to mine the coins that I believe in and the coins that I think have a, I guess, a good future. I'll put it that way. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.